Did we learn anything from Lehman or is there a danger that actually we've learned what Lehman taught us but we're not going to foresee the next crisis? Well, uh, let's, uh, uh, there's two questions there. Have we learned from Lehman? Yes, we have. Actually, we've learned from the Northern Rock too because you're so right to say the crisis actually started a year before. It's just that Lehman's was so big. It was the Lehman's collapse that actually froze the global financial system. But, you know, there was real problems right the way through from uh, the Northern Rock with failure, then, you know, through 2008, start of 2008, money markets, they were all over the place. There was lots of interventions taking place in the U.S. UBS, of course, hit huge trouble in the summer of 2008 before Lehman's. We'd had Bear Stearns go. And there is a long list, which meant that many in the market were kind of looking at this cliff edge, which seemed to be coming closer and closer. All of it really triggered initially by the U.S. subprime. And there's lots of other things there, but the U.S. subprime prime market and loss of confidence in that was a huge issue. Right, um, and at the time we didn't sorry. understand the interconnectedness, yeah. right? And this was the, the big issue. Why did we not see it at the time? I don't know is the answer because certainly in the industry and in financial markets there was a real view that there was a huge problem coming along. No two ways about it. And I, I remember in the summer of 2008, you know, when the city's normally dead, Everybody came back from holiday. It seemed to feel that everybody came back from holiday early. They were just waiting. It, it was as if we were operating in sort of three different universes, if you like. You've got the whole of the regulator system and all that sort of you know, centralized authority over there. You've got the politicians spending all their time talking about the economy. And you've got the industry saying, well, hang on, we are having trouble funding ourselves. We are having trouble funding ourselves. And an assumption that with the various arrangements that were in place, somebody would do something. And up until the point, somebody had done something. Swiss government had stood in at UBS. Um, Bear Stearns, my recollection, it was sort of shoveled over yeah. to JP Morgan. You know, stuff had happened. We had Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, or on the other, no, that's the yeah. right way around. So the assumption was something happened. And I think that the very fact that Layman's was allowed to let go, wholesale only, it's all right, you know, yeah. only deals with others. The assumption was that would be nasty, but we'd handle it, not that everything would come to a halt.